hey beauties welcome back to my channel and today i'm giving you guys my birthday vlog so for the first time ever i decided not only to fly but to go to las vegas for my birthday now we have been putting this off for many years um things will come up um in my life that i had to you know delete the plans for and so um something happened in my life um another situation came up that after 27 years I decided to look at my life from a total different point of view and different stance. I made up in my mind that if God was to come to me and ask me what would I regret, the things that I regret, it would be one, not traveling, not living, not living more, not putting me first. So through my healing journey, I decided to put myself first and take a chance. Um, money is always going to come right back to me. That's my affirmation. When I put the money out in the universe, it circulates right next to me. So I always get the money back. I just won't get the memories all the time. So when the time came, it was like, yeah, let's go ahead and do this. You know what I'm saying? So I turned 44 woohoo, and decided to fly. So yeah, I had got a drink on the plane to start to kick off my birthday celebration, and then we ended up landing in Vegas, and I decided to do a little vlogging. Now I'm not good with vlogging, but I'm getting better. I'm getting there, learning how to catch bits and pieces of the vlog because um, I didn't have a can. I don't have a camera, so I'm doing everything off of my iPhone. So yeah, we're making our way down to get into the cab and then we ended up getting into a cab. Now, some of the things that we learned about the mistakes that we made, we are first time travelers. So everything is like a learning lesson. Number one, um, we will learn, know that you have to pay a resort fee. So we'll have all of that upfront ready, put to the side. Um, and number two, we'll learn how to utilize like Ubers or we're just the next time we go visit, we decide that we're just going to go get a rental car, which would be a lot better for us. Um, out there so we took end up taking a cab and let me tell y'all to me I feel like Vegas is overrated like you know like it has to be due to its attraction to me I find you would have a better time in Biloxi if you are more on the budget side if you really leaning toward more on the budget side because Vegas is very expensive even though they don't pay state taxes out there it is very expensive to eat everything is a little higher especially at the hotels especially at the uh, airports and especially you know um, at the restaurants at the hotels so this is us checking into the hotel and then we were hungry so we decided to get a sandwich that was very delicious I'm not going to lie and so here I am giving us a, a giving y'all a grand tour of the bathroom now this hotel it was it was really beautiful it wasn't what I expected you know you have all these amenities but certain amenities like um, one, they don't have a laundromat on the property. So that was like, okay, you know, you, you know, we paying high up for a lot of things that we should be having, like maybe shuttle buses to take us to certain places. But, you know, hey, you know, this is our first time traveling and we live and learn. It was nice. It was comfortable. I slept. The bed was, the beds are not comfortable. I'm not going to lie. My body was hurting head to toe. But then I realized the reason why I was hurting head to toe because, um, sis was getting ready to make her grand interest but she let me have my birthday even though i wish i was getting bent over a balcony but we'll leave that over later so this was our view we decided to get on the second floor instead of the 27th floor so this is the um, the view or whatnot um i wasn't really interested in the views but i wanted to look outside um the next time that we decided to go to vegas we decided that we want to stay a little further up so this was my first day this is my outfit for the first day it was cute and confident as y'all can see your girl had her pin curls going on here um i thought it was the alcohol that was loading me up but i'm still on my weight loss journey as y'all can see the only problem i have with of on my body of course is my stomach and the doctor said that's going to be a healing of a process or whatever so yeah um i decided to be cute and comfy even decided to tuck it in you know what i'm saying and these pants are size medium in men if anyone is interested and then i decided to do some vlogging of the hotel like i said the hotel is pretty nice um i'd rather stay in another hotel that maybe has a little bit more to offer but this was our first time going so we really didn't know about the area and of course i brought my jacket because it was cool that day 
my mom decided to have me in January. <laughs> so we decided to go um, try to see where I was going to eat for my birthday dinner. And I think at this time, we just wanted to go play on the little slot machines. I ended up winning $50. My sister ended up winning 200 and something dollars. So we were like, okay, where are we going to go and where are we going to pick out to eat? Because we decided to stay at the hotel. Like I said, we didn't really know too much about the area how to get to and from and we just didn't really feel like shelling out all that money for uber and um you know a cab back and forth now this restaurant was so delicious the street tacos this is some of the tour we went outside and stood out then we decided to go to starbucks and have a little starbucks this is me getting ready to get ready for my birthday dinner now i did not bring my phone stand like i said i didn't bring too much stuff with me so i was trying to give you guys a video of me getting ready for my birthday dinner now i'm not going to lie the camera has me looking a little bit bigger than what i actually am but you know that's how you film in different angles so i was kind of disappointed because i kept moving the phone i was like okay i need to film in areas where they can see me the lighting at the hotel wasn't all that i'm not gonna lie i figured like they put the bluetooth um mirror in the wrong spot instead of putting it by the bed they should have put it like where you get ready at because that's where you need it at the most so um the lighting was poo i'm not going to lie so i was trying to give you guys as much um makeup getting ready with me as i can but after a while it was a fail so i was like they're gonna have to forgive me i'm just gonna leave these little snippets in to show y'all just how bad the um the lighting the lighting was because i kept having to leave out and go to the mirror um with where the mirror should have been i went there and kept turning on i was like how my makeup look? how my makeup look because i don't want to look you know like too overly done but i wanted to have a good you know i wanted to look good for my birthday i actually ended up forgetting the um glitter that i wanted to use for my birthday but i wasn't tripping because the lashes that i wore they have those little you know like diamonds on them so i was like i don't want to look you know too much um so the palette that i chose to use like the peach one um it was pigmented but not all that pigmented but it did it did get the job done i did pack a few palettes with me um as you can see here um but i ended up only using um like two palettes to do my face so yeah i used the jacqueline hill which is a really good palette by marfi right now i know they're saying that um the marfi palettes are toxic or whatnot but um, i didn't have any irritation i don't get any irritations from none of my palettes so this is me trying to show you guys um how i'm doing my makeup and i was like you know what they're not going to get the full effect of it because the lighting in here is trash <laughs> i'm not going to lie so some of the things that i've learned is that i'm going to bring me a bag that has like my little miniature ring light travel light in it so that i can travel um i just want to make sure i i'm going to give me one of those other lights so that the tsa won't throw away my stuff so this is me for my birthday as y'all can see the lashes were bomb baby i love them i love them i love them i love them um and i was looking real cute you know to say i didn't snatch me up a man but everybody wasn't in there to come in and um you know sport fish or whatnot they was actually coming in there to gamble and trying to get hopes of winning big money which was a big fail for me which makes me glad that i am not a gambler honey because baby usually i would have cut up i want my money back but i was like no i'm here to have a good time and you know it was all fun so as you can see here are the pictures here that my little sister snapped of me the theme i chose this year was orange and um i'm thankful to god because the vision um was executed um the family voted on the cream suit and baby i wore the hell out that cream suit <laughs> and um the buns is real the buns is real like i said i'm still on my weight loss journey but i ditched all of that because i wanted to have a good time and experience that like i said when i get home it, like i'm home now it's back to reality back to discipline but i decided to have a little time so this is the place that i chose to eat at called the noodle den um, the oxtail soup was really, really good. It wasn't seasoned, 
um you know me i'm from the south i'm used to seasoning but it was really really good but really expensive so the money that i won i had to pay for my dinner um but yeah i ended up having a good time and then i ended up having these noodles what i liked about the noodles that they were definitely um they were homemade and that's what i liked so i was able to enjoy ramen style what i have in my stomach hurting as you can see and that drink baby that drink did something to me because like right after i left out that drink i had like two amaretta and pineapple juice um drinks and i was sleeping really good so the next morning we decided to get up and go have some brunch this restaurant the food was really good i'm not going to lie in the entire hotel the food was delivered it delivered it gave what it was supposed to give this is really good the um candy apples though were kind of like on the the candied orange was kind of like on the bitter side but i was able to tolerate it again as you can see that we must love those street tacos they are rolling um this the shrimp had like the um pineapple some pineapple and it was really spicy now these two are that one is pork the one with the pineapple on it that made me decide that i definitely need to eat my uh tacos when i make them with some pineapple because it tastes so good together this restaurant right here i'm have to give it a 100 out of 10 um this one was good as well with the feta and the avocado so i'm like now i'm gonna be eating my homemade tacos with avocado pineapple feta cheese um pico de gallo and pineapple when i eat the shrimp kind these was really 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 good and so just uh, i can't talk and to say that my little sister is not a fan of mexican food she really enjoyed going here as a matter of fact she wanted to go twice so as you can see from this video right here this is the last meal that we were enjoying because we had to get up real early in the morning to catch our flight we ended up having a all-day layover in los angeles and no we didn't to we didn't go tour because the bags that we had were really really heavy and um before i finish that i want to say that now when i go to the grocery store i have to go buy those sodas um that wasn't the last i'm sorry that was like the next the next evening or whatnot like the night before we were to leave and so we decided to go down to the the lounge that they had one of the lounges that they had in there and get this drink now this drink was the one that really put me on my behind i'm not gonna lie and the salt and vinegar um popcorn was really good so this is the last day or whatnot this was the last day that we decided to go tour so what we did was we went rode the city bus we rode the bus twice um the first time we got off we went and got us some drinks like we went and got us uh some water and something to drink because like i said everything is really expensive like five dollars for a bottle of water and then um we went and got i think we went and got some snacks and then this day this particular day right here we decided to go tour the other town so we got out we went and ate some chick-fil-a and then we got back on the bus and we decided to ride the bus and it was a big old loop so it ended up putting us off like directly across the street from the um hotel so if you wanted to know what where all this come from um definitely head over to my tiktok it is on my tiktok now don't come clock me that is my first fashion video so yeah that's how i spent my birthday i really had a good time and i would do it all over again